Alright, new rule for today's episode. Every time I start to fall asleep, I take a swig of this Mountain Dew that I have here. It's probably not the best idea, but I guess it's better than having alcohol and that I'd be drunk during the episode. I don't know, kind of like a Russian roulette. Sounds fun to me. <laughs> Hello everybody, Infernape Shinjo here, and this is going to be a very interesting episode, I can tell that already. This is episode 4 of Phoenix Rising, and it's been a while since I've recorded the last one. Obviously, I'm bulk recording it, so you're not even going to tell a difference, but to give context to it, actually, I'm not going to give context to it yet. I'm just going to go over to my Pokemon. I have Dylan and Growlithe. And Cutie Fly is a calm nature. Shield Dust. Oh, that's right. I finally got Fairy Wind. And Growlithe has Leer, Tackle, and Ember. And that's the team. And I guess we're going to be in Trad Farm for some reason. And for whatever reason, my little box likes to come around OBS when I'm pressing the buttons here. I guess it doesn't really matter. But the reason I say it's going to be a very interesting episode is more or less how this whole day has been, I guess, structured for me? If that's the best way to describe it? Youngster Zoe, you don't look like a Zoe to me, but hey, I'm not one to judge. But... Basically, the way that it started was I woke up at like 2 o'clock in the morning because that's what you do, obviously. And uh, I'm not staying in. And then I went shopping with my mom. Got home. She got called into work. She's still at work now. My dad went to work in the afternoon. My brother's out now. I got the whole house to myself. I've been awake for 12 hours now. I have a glass of Mountain Dew with a lot of ice in it because it wasn't entirely cold right beside me. So I might have to cut off parts where I burp accidentally because of the Mountain Dew. It's going to be a fun day. You couldn't just get the burn to make my life 10 times easier? Of course, I already outspeeded, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, but this is episode 4 of Phoenix Rising. At least I think it's episode 4. I'm pretty sure that I already recorded the last couple of episodes. It's still wild for me to think that episode 2 of Phoenix Rising hasn't even come out when this video is being recorded. If I'm not mistaken... It should be out this Friday. I know I have like a schedule on my phone. Yes. Phoenix Rising Episode 2 should be up this Friday. But of course that doesn't really matter. Because if you're seeing this episode. You might have already seen that episode. And to make things even more hilarious. I figured. You know what the hey. I got nothing to really worry about. So I asked my... Really? I asked my Amazon Echo, pick a number between 1 and 3, because I was thinking that I could record between 1 and 3 episodes. And she decides to say 3, so... Might be recording 3 episodes for this whole session. Which I guess is probably a good number. I guess most series that I watch on YouTube, as far as Pokemon goes, are Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the most part. So 3 for the week would be... A good number but I only have it like once a week so I don't actually have to record it that early in advance but I do anyway because I want to relax even though I really don't do that in, in hindsight oh well oh that's cool he has a little animation I should have actually checked if poison affects outside of battle because that's something I want to know now didn't they say something about a rare Pokemon being here 
I know you probably didn't even see that. I don't even think I talked to that person because they were back in the last town. Oh, it's Cutie Fly. But I thought there was something like that. Maybe I'm wrong. Now do I have... Oh, 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 I switched. Okay, hold on. Let me get Cutie Fly back out. That's the running shoes. And that's a wow. Sounds echo. No. There is no way Spiritomb's here. Oh. See, me and my 12 hour awake self. M me being up for. Let me try that again. Me being awake for so long. I saw an, me getting an item, and I was thinking, is that the odd keystone? That would have been so crazy if it was. Okay, little pup's here. Okay. I mean, I hate to tell you, little pup, but I already have a dog on my team. And as everybody knows, you can only have one dog on your team at a time. It's just the law of Pokemon. Not really. I should go into that farm, but I want to see what else is here. Okay, more little pup. It's actually funny the little pup's trying to, is, is trying to look serious there. But if I would have to venture any guess, since this is a farm, I would imagine a Mareep can be found here. Which honestly wouldn't be that bad for my team. Why did my cutie fly go away? What is going on? Why are we who's that guy? Are you are you sleeping? Is that hay? Are you just stuck in hay? Uh Okay. I don't know who this guy is, and I already used the sort of farmer-ish sort of accent for Terrence a couple episodes ago, Mr. Thirsty. Speaking of, I'm not sure if this Mountain Dew is actually helping me stay awake, but it's doing something. So, I don't know who he is, so I'm just going to go with a voice. It would take some kind of genius to find me here. Right under their noses. What? Are you serious? They just had a cutscene just to tell me that. I was gonna go up there regardless. Oh, I can't. He can't go up. But Cutie Fly can fly, so why doesn't he go upstairs? Yeah, get away from me! I didn't do anything wrong. You got that? Wait. It's the guy from earlier! Oh, wait, you're just a kid! Okay, don't scream or nothing. How did you find me up here? It's a cunning hiding spot. You're, da you're daring, huh? I I thought that said you're darling, and then I was thinking of Darling in the Franks. I don't I don't know. If any of you guys have seen Darling in the Franks, let me know if you like it, because I haven't watched it or heard a lot of people talking about it. But that's beside the point. Hey, how's about you and I make a deal? Mutually beneficial, I promise. Okay, first of all, I'm not sure if I should even trust this guy, obviously, because first of all, what already happened. And second of all, this is the guy that decides that when he's hiding in a room, he says, no one's going to find me up here. Why would you say that? I'm skipping town. I'm a free spirit, you know? Gone with the wind. Not that I was here for very long, but just the same. I'm out. So really, why try and lock me up? I'm out of your hair regardless. Okay. The morality is a moot point, you dig? What, you want me off the streets? I didn't hurt anybody, but maybe I should pay a fine, right? So how's about a- what? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me read this. So how's about I pay a fine to you? Picking up what I'm putting down? Oh my gosh, this is... This is wild for a Pokemon game. One nugget, free of charge. Sell that for a pretty penny, huh? I give you this, and you don't have to, and you don't have to tell anyone that you saw me. This guy's bribing me. I'll leave dusty old Tranquilo Town, and everyone's better for it. 
And honestly, what do we owe? What do we owe these people, huh? Your neighbors. Just one little lie, and you get a fabulous parting gift. And understand, if you don't take it and you try to cuff me, I'm not giving up easily. Easy. Picking up what I'm putting down? What? So your choices matter. Choose carefully while making decisions as they may. What? Will you help the stone seller? Oh my gosh. Oh uh, boy. Well, first of all, I feel like since I'm on YouTube, I feel like I should say no just to make people think you're helping a criminal. But I mean, honestly, from what I logged up and loaded up the game, I had like 5,500 Pokebucks. So I'm fine on money. Thanks for the offer, but I'm going to say no. I'm just curious what's going to happen. After all that simpering I did, you still don't want to help me? What a waste. Fine, I'll battle you. Yeah, let's see about that. Hiya! Wow. I mean, I kind of figured he was going to battle, but I... I don't think I picked the right voice for this guy. Watch him have, like, one Magikarp. <laughs> oh, that's cool how he looks tired. That's a nice touch. I wonder what they consider his name. I wonder if it's, like, Shady Businessman or something. Swindle... Swindler question mark. Oh, that's cool. You know, I like that because I like how they have you get to choose things. Because there's not many, well, obviously there's not many main series Pokemon games that let you do that. Sun and Moon do, but some options are the same result, so. And also, this isn't really the best matchup for me. But, luckily for me, I know somebody that just learned a dark move. What? Why? I mean, I'm not gonna waste my... I'm not gonna waste my bite on that. Oh, this is perfect. Because now the ember should... The ember should... The substitute should go away. Okay, there it goes. I didn't realize I had to... Wait, what? Is the substitute actually... The substitute's still here? How, uh, or is it? No, it's not... Wait, what? Okay, I knew this game was a bit buggy, but now I know for sure, I guess. That's weird how it has substitute of all moves. Scraggy. Oh wait, that's perfect! See, I'm telling you I'm a little touched in the head today. It took me at least a couple of seconds for me to realize, oh, I have a fairy type, I'm good. And you know, honestly, Scraggy, Ghastly, they kind of fit. I mean, what's a Scraggy gonna have at this level? I swear, if you have headbutt. Whoa. But I should. I shan. I should be able to knock you out with one more. Actually, let me see how much money I get from him. Because I might have picked the best decision. If he gives me over 5,000 bucks just for battling him. Stunts. Ooh, that'll be helpful for capturing other Pokemon. Swindler. I would have gotten away with it. If it weren't for you meddling kids and your dog. And I have a dog. I am the mystery... Um, not the mystery machine. What's it called? Scooby-Doo, what's the name? Mystery Incorporated? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. My mind is not working right. Oh, wait, where'd you get... Where'd you come from? First, okay, first of all, where did the professor and the police come from because if they were there the whole time why didn't they stop this okay whatever whatever I can't believe it my daring escape foiled by a teenager what a world I've never been much of a trainer but this is still really embarrassing you know the thing I find more ironic than anything 
He sold evolutionary stones, but none of his Pokemon were fully evolved. <sighs> I have no way of resisting, so I guess I'll come quietly or whatever. I wouldn't trust him. He got away before. Shinjo, it seems... It seems... English. It seems we have the same idea to search here. I mean, I just stumbled in by accident and then he was talking to himself, so... But you captured the fraud. Truly, I am very impressed. Hello, sir. A pleasure to see you again. <laughs> you little frowny face. Shinjo, I am going to bring this man to the authorities. I still need to speak with you, however. Can we meet at the Pokemon Center? If you're not if you're not yet aware, it is the large red building in Tranquilo. Right this way, sir. I'm gonna have to get some voices. Consistent voices. You know, that's actually weird that I was able to cover that so quickly. I figured that it was going to be at least a couple of episodes. I wonder if any poke I wonder if any wild Pokemon can give me anything. Can I walk on top of this? No, I can't. Mil tank. Is this a door? That's a door. I can't do anything with this. Thanks. But I figured that that swindler would be like the I don't want to say head honcho, but more or less head honcho. Oh well. Actually, you know what? I might be doing this all out of whack. At least from how I would normally handle it. But since the professor wants to meet me in the Pokemon Center, I'm going to do that before I forget. Spinner? I guess it makes sense that Spinnerack is here. Gotta have something to make those webs. Also, I should be able to run. It's a level 3 spinner act. If I can't run, Cutie Fly is really that slow. Okay. There's a person running in the grass over there that I saw. Oh, another Cutie Fly. I think I mentioned this in a previous episode already, but I'm going to mention it again. I wonder if they changed the shiny stats. Shiny stats. I saw that. I wonder if they changed the shiny chance. Also, that's cool how they have the stats like they do in Sun Moon. Sun and Moon. But I think my plan is going to be. Oh, yeah, I can't go in there. I thought I could interact with them and have them as wild encounters. Go back to the Pokemon Center. Find that person that was talking about Trad Farm and see what it is. Talk to the professor in the Pokemon Center. And that'll probably get to end the episode. It is honestly upsetting that I was only able to do a couple of battles. And. Like I mentioned already, I'm recording far in advance, so the second episode hasn't even come up yet. But, regardless, I hope that you guys are fine with only having, like, one or two battles an episode. Honestly, if the game ran a little bit faster for me, I could manage a little bit more. But I don't want the episodes to be too long, regardless. Everybody wants to be proud of their family members. My grandson is supposedly a powerful trainer, inspiring everybody he meets. As his grandmother, I simply remember him as a sprightly young child who would help me tend crops and ask the most adorable questions. Thank you for listening. Use this on a Pokemon you wish to... Oh, yeah! I forgot. I could have captured my cutie fly with that. Oh, well. I'll just wait here. I thought there was somebody that talked about Triad Farm. Oh yeah, I think I mentioned. I think I was questioning about who this trainer would be. He's a trainer. He knows I train Pokemon too. Maybe it's Whitney. I mean, when you think of farms, cows, mill tank, Whitney. Maybe that might be a bit of a stretch. Don't you just love the country air? It's better than any medicine I've ever taken. You know, maybe that's what I need. I'm a little bit drowsy right now, so maybe that's what I need. Hello, who's there? You're a new trainer, huh? Yeah, I can see it in your eyes. 
Excuse me. Check out Trad Farm. A visit there might be just what you need. Is that it? Maybe I was imagining that there was that somebody said something about a Pokemon there, a special Pokemon there. I don't know. Well, there's only one person here. You're from Nocturne. Do you happen to know Professor Lotus? Uh, yeah. Here's a bit of gossip. I would babysit Professor Lotus when she was a child. She has loved Pokemon for as long as I've known her. She never slept very well. That sounds like me. Now she's a professional, but we see each other from time to time. She's in the town if you want to see her. I'm not going to be getting to talk to her for a while because I'm busy trying to make sure that I know what I was talking about earlier. There are a couple of people I could talk to up here. So let me check. I know that I read, I talked to somebody that said something about something special in Trad Farm. There's a rare fighting type Pokemon in Trad Farm. Of course, I've never seen it. Maybe it's made up? Okay, okay. I feel better now knowing that I've proven myself not crazy. Kind of, I guess. Although if I would have to venture any guess, I would say it's probably a Riolu because you can find Riolu in whatever the farm is in Black 2, White 2. Uh, Flockacy. Flockacy Wretch. And I'll heal. And that's taken care of. And it's so nice that... I was about to say Professor Juniper. I'm thinking Gen 5 again. But it's so helpful that she's just waiting here. Is this what you really came to talk to me about? This is a Pokemon Center, Shinju. It is a safe haven in the hectic lives of trainers, as you may have realized. I left the swindler with the police moments ago, kicking and screaming. Wow. You did very well. I never would have expected you to find the thief. Me neither. Your success only reaffirms my belief that you are the strongest candidate. Of what? Excuse me, but I don't think we ever mentioned what the strongest candidate of what is. I would like you to uh, I would like to offer you this Pokédex. It's a tool for Pokémon researchers. Oh yeah, I didn't get a Pokédex yet. Oops. That's a cool Pokédex. It's an iPad. I got an iPad. First time I've ever got an iPad in my life. It'll be the last one too. This gadget allows you to access a trove of knowledge related to your Pokémon. After capturing a Pokemon, this information is immediately at your disposal. With that said, I have another gift for you to pair with the Pokédex. I have Pokédolls, Pokédolls, Pokéballs, but thank you for the concern. These Pokéballs allow for the humane capture and training of Pokémon. With even a single Pokéball in hand, all wild Pokémon are potential friends. That's a nice way to look at it. Your team can expand, grow stronger, but only as a result of strenuous training. Yeah, unless you have rare candies. I hope you keep that thought with you as you journey to Tr to Trinita. Oh, University. Right, I forgot what we're doing. I wish you good luck and I hope to see you soon. No problem. Take your time exiting the building. I know that it takes everybody a while to do anything in this game and I'm okay with that. Okay, I did that. Now what's next? Okay. Do I just go through the farm? Trend of the teachings. Okay. So do I. Hello! Uh, do I know you? I mean, your hairstyle makes me think you're a girl. Don't, don't make. I hope that doesn't make me sound kind of, um. apprehensive, I guess? Is that the word? That's a word. Uh, word, name, what do I, what voice do I give you? Um. Oh, Shinjo, good. I managed to catch up with you. Oh, you picked Growlithe. It's precious. You chose well. Did you pick Star, you? Here, I got this for you. After your father agreed to pay for everything out there. 
What? And then he helped you to get your first Pokemon. So this is my little revenge? What? What is that? Is that a versus thing? Pokey str Oh, that's my mom. Whoops. Wait, so... She doesn't mean revenge, does she? She's just make, making jokes, right? What's a pokey strap? <gasps> There's my layout! It's called a pokey strap! That's not the time. It has all kinds of apps and functions for trainers. The tech reviews say it's essential for new trainers today. Very modern. I know Nocturne is old fashioned, and I didn't want you to look like a yokel. <laughs> yokel. <laughs> I know it's a term, it just make me laugh. Yokel. And now you're off. First, you'll master Trinity University. Next, the world. I think we're being a little bit too early to celebrate that. You'll be living near your father in this exciting new place. And you'll be busy with your Pokemon. Your travels, it's wonderful. But I'm never gonna see I'm I'm never gonna see you, am I? Not anymore. No, it's true. It's a very far trip, and there's nothing here for you anymore. Wow, very morbid. Oh, I knew I should have dealt with this much earlier. I'm being selfish. This was supposed to be your big day, and now I ruin it with all this. I mean, I said it to be fair. Know that I'm gonna miss you very much, Shinjo. I'll always be home, should you need me. Now I really want to pay her a visit, even though I just saw her. Okay, you can do this, this, okay. So... What? 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 What am I doing? Oh, okay, I'll just keep it here. I think that is going to be where I end this episode off. I heal my Pokemon, got all that taken care of. And I think next episode I'm going to start out by clearing out Trad Farm and then figuring out where I need to go from there. So if you enjoyed this episode, do not forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe so you don't miss any other episodes. I almost felt a burp coming up. I almost made it through the whole episode. But that is going to be it for this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Momentai. Wait, hold on. Momentai. Got it. <laughs>